What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and I just graduated. I finally got a bachelor degree in architecture. Well, that's not exactly true. I graduated last year, but I've only received my diploma now, a year later, so I guess that speaks to the efficiency of my university. So this receiving of a diploma kind of inspired me to make this video. I wanted to do a video where I kind of talk to you what's, uh, what's architecture school like and in today's video I'm going to share to you uh, share with you what are the first three years of architecture school like. You have three years of bachelor and then you've got two years of your master's degree and then you have to work in, uh, in some company for two years on, on some projects and then you can kind of pass the test and officially become a licensed architect. So I've got three of the years out of the way. I'm currently finishing up the fourth year. So I thought I might show, show you what are the first three years like, what to expect, and the most important question, is it worth it? So I'm going to be sharing some of the projects uh, that uh, I've been working on and I, I'm not really going to be talking all that much about those projects, more in a way so you can understand what's the, what's the school like or at least what's it like in my country. I'm from Serbia and I went to the university in Belgrade, which is like the, the, the main public university. It's, it's the only public university where you can uh, learn architecture in, in Belgrade, so that's, that's where I study and some people say that it's, uh, that it's a bit conceptual and I must agree uh, but you will see what are the projects like and then you can make uh, make your own opinion. So here I've got on my computer I've in, uh, separated in a few folders so as you can see here for the first year we had not that many uh, like real life projects. We didn't uh, build some realistic uh, buildings but we did more some conceptual designs. So here I'm just going to open this folder up and let's open this up. So as you can see this image over here that this is kind of a, a model of a terrain. So that was the whole theme. Just create a model of a terrain. That was it. So this is what I did. I kind of did the, the separate weird uh, topography kind of out of cardboard which I painted. So that was the that was the first model I made. Then we had these uh, these walls that we had to create, so this is the image of that. Then we had a beach, so I decided to create a crowded beach by nailing a bunch of nails on a board. So that's what that was like. Then we had whatever this was, I don't even remember. And this was kind of like a bus stop or something like that. And let's see, uh, so we had an underground uh, and I don't know how would you call it an underground house where uh, you had to dis you had to imagine a friend and then you would have to build an underground uh, house for that friend. So in in my project it was like a singer, so I made it like a underground singing room with this sound insulation or whatever. And then the final project was like uh, mostly a project where you would have to take an existing building, a, an imaginary existing building and then build upon it and try to kind of fit in but be make it interesting I guess. So that's what this project was like. And this was mostly done through models. We did some drawings but not that many really. So it was mostly is some uh, it was mostly models. And here we have this is the the next semester. This is the second semester. This was uh, kind of a stage. So I did this uh, this grass field stage. And here I did this was a we we had kind of a track. So I did kind of a parody on on Apple and all of their products. So I made an eye track. So it connects shopping malls. So people can just be mindless drones and go from one to the other uh, shopping. And there's even a video of it. <laughs> It was singing, it was loud, it was, uh, it had lights in it and the professors were shocked but that was kind of my opposition to the complete absurdity of those classes that I had. And this is, yeah, this is those tracks. And then we had this project, it was a light post or I guess you would call it a light post. So I, I actually have the model over here, this is 
this is what I've created. It was actually glowing as you can see on this image and on this image as well. So uh, I put placed a light over here in this hole and uh, just a normal spotlight and then this whole thing was glowing so that was like one of my favorite projects I did that year. And moving on, okay, this is it for the projects. And also, first year, uh, there was a lot of graphic design, uh, graphic design topics because first year when you get into architecture school, nobody really knows how to present their projects. So I guess they thought that it would be important to do some uh, graphic design some graphic design courses so we had a bunch of them and it was very interesting at least for me so i decided to to share them as well so here i had this was like we had this symbol and then we had to kind of present it in a to, the, to do some sort of a graphic presentation of the symbol we received okay this is the second one this was kind of the a 2d representation this was a 3d representation then we had to do a uh, yeah this was 3D, this was, I don't know, some other sort of 3D. Uh, this was with some sections and elevations. This was the same thing with some dimensions. And here for the last one, we had to present one of the projects we did that year. So I chose this this model, I called it the Ice Tower. So I kind of did some graphic presentation for that. And this was, uh, this was kind of interesting for me. Okay, so that's it for these. Uh, for the first year and those were the interesting topics we had a lot of uh, like theory so we were learning about construction about uh, architectural history but that wasn't that important as uh, that doesn't look as good as the projects and i think the projects really show what's the school like and if you want leave it in the comment section below and i can talk about the kind of a theory classes that that we had at university okay so moving on to second year now we're getting into some realistic projects and this was probably one of the favorite projects of mine that I've ever did. So it was this, it was this house that's kind of embed in a hill. So you can see over here, so it's kind of site embedded house. So I, I just did it, say basic villa. Here we can see some 3D sections. This was the first time I got into Revit. So this was the, the first project I did in Revit and I was really proud of myself. Here you can see how, how I got to the project. So I started from this flat like to to two lines, then I make them triangular, then I kind of uh, embedded them into the ground on one side, and then I separated them and made all of these all of these houses. Okay, next project. This was the first urbanism uh, project or uh, landscape design. We did kind of a neighborhood. So uh, in my uh, in my part of town, there is a Chinatown, and it was near the this uh, the spot where we had for this project uh, the the site so i decided to do some housing for the for that chinatown so here's what i did i uh, what i did was i went into kind of the the chinese philosophy and pulled some rules out of chinese philosophy and then i decided to kind of uh, use or not only philosophy but pretty much even superstitions and then I decided to use them to kind of design the, this neighborhood and I will talk more about this project in another video. And this was the, the next semester, so this is fourth semester. We did a, again an urbanism but it was more kind of more urban I guess. So we did kind of a segment of a neighborhood where you need to do some uh, landscape design, something like that. So this is what I did, some some houses and uh, all the parking, everything. I think I did a tutorial on this, on how to create this kind of a urban landscape in Revit, and I'll leave a link to that in the in the description of this video if you want to check it out. Uh, so next one is this. Yeah, that's the whole thing, and I did this with a couple of friends. It was a team a team build thing. So this was one of them. This was mine, the orange one, and this was another friend. And this is the model that we built. Very simplistic. I think the uh, we were mostly doing renderings for this one. And now we're getting to the technical stuff. So this is the first kind of technical studio that we that we had. And I don't know how how well can you see this. So we're this is a steel building, so we had 
a steel building, a wooden building and a concrete building that we had to design and we had to solve all of the details. So I guess you can see that over here. This is another floor plan. As you can see, it's the whole steel building with all of the layers and walls and everything. All of the construction here you can see in the section. It has all of these, all of these elements. So just a basic realistic building so you can learn the construction of the whole thing. And this was the wooden building, it was a bit different, it was not something it was used to, so we had to do the whole, the whole facade of the building, and it was interesting overall. And we got to design this wooden building, uh, it was the, the best design we had, so I, I really liked that. Here you can see the section and some trusses and something like that a facade, a stair, so just a basic wooden building and uh, we had this as I think the concrete building, yeah, you can see this is the, the floor plan and then we had just one segment to do as a detail, so this was that detail, I, you probably can't see this but it was just done in, in high detail as you can see and everything needs to be dimensioned and all of the explanations too about the, the layers and the thicknesses of those layers, you had to have everything. Okay, moving on. Okay, so that's pretty much it for a second year and now we're moving to third year. Things are getting a bit more seriously and my generation was the first generation that had two studio projects uh, during the semester. So it was uh, till now, it was till my generation, it was only one project per semester and then when uh, my generation got, <laughs> got to study it became two studio projects and it was really hard. So here moving on to the third year, you can see this uh, it's taking a little while, it was a big project. So this was again architectural construction, we had to solve this whole building. And as you can see over here, it's, it's quite a, it, it was a yacht sale, selling building or I guess something like a yacht store. And that's that's what we did. So And we had to actually calculate everything and let me just open this up. Uh, open this PDF up, yeah, close out of that. Okay, so this was my first analysis that I did in Revit. This is the structural analysis I did. So I calculated all of the stresses in this steel building, as you can see over here, and I got all of these calculations. And if you want to see the, the video where I show you how to do these structural analysis, again, uh, check out the link in the description. I already have a tutorial on this. So moving down, as you can see, this is in kind of in planes, how everything works, in floors, and you get all of the information out of Revit, so that was pretty cool. I, and I was the only one doing it in Revit, so uh, the professors were kind of impressed. And moving on, so this is the project, I think I've show you the, shown you the model of this project. This was just a basic housing project and I did kind of a project where you can, uh, you have this huge frame and then when you buy your apartment you can set it up and customize it and color it the way you want and then you just insert it in the building by a crane. So everything is, is different and, and cool. And this is the final project I did. So the last semester was kind of the, the final project and it was only one project per semester, finally. So this is what we had. And this was this huge building that that was both uh, kind of a uh, for residents or homes and it had a big kind of a shopping center or whatever attached to it. And here you can see maybe the diagram of how it was assembled. So I started with this location and then I kind of separated it, so this is the, that whole huge uh, shopping center or something like that, and here's where the uh, residential part is. And we have to solve all of the floor plans, of course, and make everything look nice, and this, this is how the final design turned out. Okay, so those were, I think, okay, one more, we had one more, this was uh, for construction systems, we had to uh, pick out a, an existing construction system and do a building in that construction system. So I thought this uh, folded plate, the, the construction design was quite cool, so I made this this uh, swimming pool, I guess, and it looked really cool. And again, if you want to see how these uh, flat planed uh, buildings are built in Revit, check out the link in the description. 
So those were the projects that I did during the first three years of school. That's what it's like in my country. And I, as far as is it worth it, I think it's definitely worth it to study architecture. Even if you're not going to be an architect, you learn that uh, very, very important combination between art and technology. You kind of get to experience both the ar artistic side and the technological side and even the psychological side where you have to think about how people feel in that building or how do they feel when they look at the building. So you kind of go through everything, pretty much the whole spectrum of life uh, during architecture school. So even if you decide not to go into architecture, uh, you, you will have a very good set of skills and some very decent knowledge that you can use in real life, whatever career you, you choose to do. The only downside to architecture school is when people start, they don't really understand what they need to do and what's expected of them. So uh, I, like mo most of my friends, uh, we spent too much time working extremely hard on things that, well, when, when I really think about it, they didn't really have to be, uh, it didn't really have to be that hard. I think uh, people make it harder on themselves uh, when they when they study architecture because they want to create something good and they they don't know what's good because everything is subjective and you're usually just trying to impress the professor even if if that's not really why you're there you're there to learn not to impress a certain person so I think it's important to talk to older students and get some understanding of what is school like, what are uh, all of the professors like, what's important in the end of the day. So th those are my tips for surviving the first year of architecture or uh, surviving your bachelor degree in architecture. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you stick to this part. Uh, please uh, like this video, please subscribe, I make videos every day, even e either videos like this about architecture and architecture school or some useful tutorials mostly about Revit. And also tell me about your architecture school, what it's like. Tell me in the comment section below, do you have, is it like this, is it more technical, is it more conceptual, what are some of the similarities and differences between your school and my school. I, I would really like to know what's it like in other schools. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video and I will see you tomorrow.